This is the Rio Cosumnes Correctional Center. It houses 2,100 inmates sentenced by the Sacramento County Courts. And if Assemblymember Ken Cooley has his way, this facility and other county jails across the state will not house serious drug traffickers. Around the state, there are about 40 inmates who are actually are heavy duty drug traffickers who serve very long enhanced sentences, 10, 15, 20 years. And even those inmates have been brought back into this type of population. Assemblymember Cooley has introduced terrible. Assembly Bill 222, which would help ensure that convicted offenders who sell or transport more than 2.2 pounds of heroin, cocaine, or methamphetamines serve their sentence in a state prison and not county jails. The impact of Assemblymember Cooley's legislation goes beyond the current number of incarcerated serious drug offenders. Rio Casumnas Correctional Center is working hard to rehabilitate low-level offenders. The jail offers drug and alcohol treatment programs, parenting classes, a sign making and engraving workshop, a welder certification program, and even a culinary school. This is the first opportunity that many of these offenders have ever had while they've been locked up to really benefit from their time and their dead time in, in jail. And uh, we're hopeful that this is going to be a success and that it is uh, a way to change people's lives. The serious drug offenders that the legislation targets generally serve sentences that exceed 15 to 20 years and are subject to sentence enhancement. To have an inmate that doesn't have the prospect of getting out anytime soon in this general population at this sort of facility, it is a, a problem for uh, the corrections officers, the environment, the attitudes, and there frankly are not the facilities to, to deal with that sort of person who's under this long time of incarceration. Assemblymember Cooley says that those selling more than one kilo of cocaine are hardened criminals whose mere presence in a county jail affects the possibility of rehabilitation for all the others. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.